Hi guys, it's MTG here, and today I'm going to be comparing the two most expensive flagships of 2017, the iPhone X and the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Obviously the iPhone X isn't out yet, but should you wait a month to get that, or should you get the Note 8 that was released just about two weeks ago? I'll help you answer that question by going over the specifications, the features, and my general thoughts on the two products. Let's get right into it. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 was just released, and it has some great specifications. It has an almost bezel-less 6.3-inch Super AMOLED QHD Plus display that is HDR certified, 6GB of RAM, 64GB of onboard storage with expandable storage of up to 256 gigs, and is IP68 water and dust resistant. Along the top of the phone, you'll find its iris scanner, and also its 8MP front camera that has the autofocus and can shoot up to 1440p video. On the back of the phone, you'll find the dual 12 megapixel camera system that gives you depth effects and a 2x optical zoom, while also being able to shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second and 720p video at 240 frames per second. Next to the cameras, you have the flash, heart rate sensor, and fingerprint scanner. The iPhone X also has some great specifications. It has an almost bezel-less 5.8 inch Super Retina HD OLED display that has True Tone technology. The iPhone has 3GB of RAM and storage options of 64GB and 256GB, and is IP67 certified water and dust resistant. Along the top of the phone, you'll find its sensors required for Face ID and its 7MP true depth camera that can shoot 1080p video. On the back of the phone, you'll find the dual 12MP cameras that also give you depth effects and 2x optical zoom functionality. And these cameras will be able to shoot 4K at up to 60 frames per second and 1080p at up to 240 frames per second. Both phones have great specifications with certain things standing out on each. The Note 8 has a bigger, higher resolution screen than the iPhone X, and although the iPhone X has an OLED screen, it will only be able to get as bright as the iPhone 8's LCD panel. The Note 8 screen can get twice as bright. The Note 8 also has great benefits of having a micro SD card slot to allow users to increase the amount of storage available to them. It should also be noted that although the Note 8 has double the RAM as the iPhone X, the iPhone should run faster than the Note 8 because of how well Apple optimizes all of their applications and internal processes in their phones. Also, the iPhone X has Apple's new A11 Bionic chip, which is proving to be the fastest chip on any smartphone to date. The cameras may also edge out on the iPhone X simply because of the incredibly high frame rates available for both 4K and 1080p video recording. The iPhone X will have Face ID which uses a digital mapping of your face to unlock your phone. The new True Depth camera in the front will also allow you to take portrait mode pictures using the front facing camera, and will enable Animojis or Apple's new face tracking emojis that you can send to your friends. The Note 8 also has facial recognition, but I would not recommend that you turn this feature on because of how insecure it is. But Samsung gives you more secure alternatives in the iris scanner and a fingerprint scanner, which the iPhone X does not have. The iPhone X's A11 Bionic chip will enable it to smoothly run any games in augmented reality, and the App Store will have much better selection of apps as opposed to Android's Google Play Store. On the other hand, the Note 8 works with Samsung's newest Gear VR headset, which will utilize the phone's high-resolution display in VR. And the Note 8 should be able to run through any game or app because the Snapdragon 835 along with 6GB of RAM will do the trick in just about any scenario. The Note 8 has one obvious differentiating feature in that it houses an S Pen in the bottom right corner. It adds another level of interaction to your phone that you won't appreciate until you actually try it. Along with writing notes, you'll be able to highlight words, translate text, click small menu buttons, and even use the screen when it's wet. The iPhone X does not have any one differentiating feature. Almost every new phone has been nearly bezel-less, water-resistant, and has dual cameras. But Apple has done a terrific job in making a phone that is easy to use, really fast, and now has a design that is new and unique to it. This leads me into my general thoughts. I think the iPhone X is a great phone. I think Apple has done a terrific job in actually trying to innovate this time because they haven't done that in recent years. I just have a problem with the iPhone X being released alongside two slightly upgraded versions of last year's phone, while trapping users to have to decide between the old design at $699 and $799 and the new design at almost $1,000. If the lineup of this year's Apple phones was an iPhone X, iPhone X Plus, and maybe an iPhone 8 for cheaper, I would probably be saying that this is the phone to buy this year. 
Yes, the Note 8 retails for just $60 less than the iPhone 10, but Samsung does include a big, bright, almost bezel-less Super AMOLED display along with a differentiating feature in the S Pen. They also give you useful adapters, $100 earphones, and a fast charger in the box, making the price of the Note 8 look more like a bargain as compared to the iPhone 10. And if Samsung consumers decide not to spend the extra money and go with the S8 or S8 Plus, then they still will get a big, bright, almost bezel-less Super AMOLED display and not just revamped versions of last year's phone. My disagreeing with Apple's strategy aside, the iPhone X will be inarguably one of the best phones of 2017. If you're already engulfed in the Apple ecosystem, utilize iCloud a lot, and appreciate the simplicity of iOS 11, I'd say, despite the hefty price tag, you won't be disappointed with the iPhone X when it comes out. You'll be appreciating your phone for years down the line. But if you're not already engulfed in the Apple ecosystem, or if you're considering switching at all, I'd say give the Note 8 a long look because it's a feature-packed phone that has a screen that has yet to be topped. Also, it's running Android, which is more customizable than iOS and has become increasingly easier to use over the past couple of years. Let me know in the comments whether you prefer the Note 8 or will be waiting for the iPhone 10. And if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm working on a lot of new content right now, so please click the logo down below to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date on my latest videos. Follow me on my other social media accounts, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.